I know the lives and stories of many of the Patriots probably better than most people. Um, Benjamin Cheney was so disheartened that New Hampshire did not honor our orator Daniel Webster that he bought a statue and he donated it to the state and it sits prominently right in front of the stairs, which I hope we're going to be seeing a lot of over the next few weeks. Um, I have a little more history I'm going to add when we get the stack ready for our location. Is, ben, is Brett Chamberlain, I think it is, is he here? Okay. As soon as Brett Chamberlain comes, are you oh, Brett Chamberlain? I am. <laughs> I'd like to turn things over right now to Brett Chamberlain, and uh, Brett is a New Hampshire son, correct? Much like Daniel Webster, and he has been at Occupy Wall Street since the start. That's right. And he was one of the 700 arrested on the bridge. He left Occupy Wall Street to come home to support us here in New Hampshire. He stopped at Boston Occupy last night and he brings his love and solidarity from those two things. Thank you, Brett. Absolutely. He said I was arrested on the Brooklyn Bridge, so I felt that I had to leave the state or else I wouldn't be able to keep myself away. And I'd end up in even deeper shit. So I came back here. I stopped in Boston on the way. Both occupations have been growing nonstop. In Wall Street, there are hundreds of people that are sleeping there every single night. On that first Saturday, when 100 people were round up, they were penned up against walls with netting, they were arrested in mass arrests, and the police attacked them with pepper spray, a chemical weapon against unarmed women that were in pens. You guys can all see this video. It's gone viral on the internet, Wall Street Mace. You have to check it out, and you'll be absolutely outraged when you see the violence that's being used against pro-democracy, non-violent protesters. Well, when those 100 people were arrested, the next week, 1,000 people came out and marched. Uh, 3,000 people, to be exact, and 700 of us were arrested. Well, again, those videos were on the internet. People saw that the police led us onto the bridge. They stopped us in both ends. They read an order to disperse, but refused to allow us out, maybe expecting us to jump off the sides. They arrested 700 people one by one and released us just hours later with bogus, trumped-up charges. Well, the next Wednesday, 15,000 people came out and marched. So yesterday they marched back up to Washington Square Park and had their General Assembly there. It's the only space big enough to fit the thousands of people that are now turning out daily and weekly to come and be a part of this historic movement. It's taking off, it's growing bigger every day. So I decided to come and do a little Occupy tourism. So I went down to Boston yesterday. And there in Boston they have tents. They built a virtual city. It's beautifully organized with raised walkways to keep your feet out of the mud with medical supplies, with a kitchen. And everything there is just growing and growing and growing so fast. And so I came here where another movement is about to start. So you brave people are here to come out and take part of this historic movement that is growing in cities across the country. So why do we all need to be here? Well, I don't need to tell you guys that much, but I'll just briefly mention that my first political memory was here in Concord when my parents took me when I was about 10 years old to an anti-war march in protest of the pending Iraq war. Literally my entire conscious life has been one of war, where the United States has been in increasingly larger and larger wars. We're now involved militaristically in six nations, Iraq, Afghanistan, Yemen, Pakistan, Libya, and Somalia, either with troops on the ground or bombing them. The situation is not better here, as the unemployment rate grows, homelessness grows, Corporate tax rate, for some reason, shrink, as do the tax rate for the millionaire. Companies like Bank of America, Exxon, BP actually receive tax credits, so we are giving them money. So, that's why we all need to come out. We need to come rally because we are tired of a decade of war. We're tired of human rights being thrown to the wayside here in the United States so we can give welfare to corporations who trash our environment and trash our nation in order to pad their own pockets. So thank you guys all for being here. I'm really excited to be here as well. Stick around. I'm not here to tell you guys how to do it. I'm here just to offer my perspective and uh, be a part of this organization as well. So we're really looking right. forward to getting this going. So the organization tool that we've been using to put these together that started before the occupation began and are now running twice a day at the occupation itself is the General Assembly. So a General Assembly is an autonomous 
horizontally organized decision-making body. That sounds kind of jargony, but all it means that there's no one person that's running things, there's no one person setting the agenda and determining what we can and cannot talk about. There's a lot of people here, that's great, but we all want to have a chance to speak if you do have something important to say. So let's just try and keep things concise. If you see someone doing this, it's nothing hostile, it's just a friendly way to try and keep the process going along. All right, so I would actually suggest that we don't need to spend too much time on organizing committees as far as using up the General Assembly's time. Um, we have some existing committees. I think if people um, decide that a committee is something they'd like to do, they can link up with the people who are there. Or alternatively, if you think you can organize a group to provide something that you see a need for, I suggest that you step up and say, hey, we don't have something to cover this. I think it would be a good thing, so I'm going to do this. Anybody who'd like to do this with me, come on over here and join me. It seems like a waste of time for the General Assembly to spend its time on that sort of thing when that's not really something that we need a vote for. We can just do it with the consensus of the people who want to be involved in it. Too fair. Um, so here's the way the consensus works. It's not a formal vote. We just ask for people to put up a block. So what is a block? A block is, if this proceeds, I will remove my involvement from this movement. So a block should be taken fairly seriously. However, if you do institute a block, we will continue talking about something until we can do whatever we can to make sure that everyone feels comfortable about it. So... Can I make up a point of process? Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, all this, uh, the, the working group at committee stuff, well, can anyone not hear me? Like you like the live stream. Yeah, yeah. 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 Online too. Okay. Yeah. Do mic check. Mic check. Committee and working group affairs can be an indefinite discussion, but agreeing with Manchester's decision on time and place for the start of the occupation, which was tentative on Concord's General Assembly's concurrence, is a finite discussion topic, and I believe of a higher priority. I, I think that, that would fall under direct action as well, being a logistical mm -hmm. yes. concern. So perhaps we can spend some time discussing and reach a consensus about the specific time and place of the beginning of this occupation. <laughs> All right, so let's hear from Mike. The Manchester General Assembly took a vote, and the decision was that the occupation should be in Manchester at Veterans Park on the 15th of this month, beginning at noon. That's Saturday. That's Saturday. That's Saturday. Which is next week. Which is next week. There has been some research done into a location in Concord and the factors surrounding occupation. It has been observed that both Occupation Wall Street and Occupy Boston are happening in private parks. The location in Concord that's been researched is a private location, or is a non-city location, behind the Bank of America, along Story Street. From that location, after dark, the glowing dome of the Capitol building is clearly uh, visible. There is a lot of space for the occupation. The path to the Capitol from the Bank of America passes directly through Eagle Square. If you Google financial institutions, Concord, New Hampshire, they are all within a few blocks this location. Alright, question. So, who owns that property? Is that, do we know who owns the property? Okay, let me... The exact owner property has not been determined. There needs to be a little more research into that subject. Currently, there is not a prohibition to camping activities along other tracks of the same property the same. further south. Um, what I was going to say about the location proposed for Concord, if we don't have permission from the property owners at this time, I don't think it's a viable location. As it stands, the proposal on the table is whether or not this General Assembly will endorse the Manchester plan. We'll be seeking consensus on the Manchester plan. If that is blocked, then we can discuss an alternative Concord plan. Mic check. Mic Mic check. check. I think starting the occupation, there's a lot of concern about having a critical mass. I think it's important that we start one occupation, and if we have the numbers for another location, we do that again, we, we continue to move on with that. Oh, we're going to open it up to friendly amendments. A friendly amendment. 
is a specific change. So, for example, if you would like to say, I propose that we meet at 5 p.m. instead of noon. So these are amendments to the Manchester plan, which we are currently discussing. Can you restate the uh, proposal before we... Yeah, so the proposal is that the Conquer General Assembly endorsed the plan to rally and occupy Veterans Park beginning Saturday, October 15th at noon. That is the proposal as it stands. Point of process over here. That was my question. Okay. Any friendly <laughs> amendments? You can also raise your hand or go with Eric if it looks like we're not going to have much of a stack. Okay, so at this point, we're now ready to take consensus. So at this point, anyone that has a block now has an opportunity to voice that. Again, a block is to say that if we determine that we will endorse the plan to occupy Manchester, I will leave this movement. Again, a block is serious. So please think carefully that it is a serious, substantial objection. All right, so I don't see any blocks, so we'd like to reach consensus yes. by doing a quick check, and let's see those hands in the air that we are reaching consensus to endorse the plan to occupy <coughs> Manchester. <laughs> occupy Manchester. But, I mean, occupy New Hampshire, I think it's a big <laughs> notion. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, so congratulations. We reached our first consensus here. Yeah, yeah. This means that this body has now formed, and through pure horizontal democracy, not representative republicanism, because remember, the person who represents you replaces you. Through two democracy, in the largest city in New Hampshire, and in the capital city in New Hampshire, we have reached a consensus to together, come together, and occupy New Hampshire. This is big, this is awesome, you guys rock.